please welcome Patrick Henry. I love being a professional speaker. I love being around professional speakers. That, for that reason, last year in New York City, when our president, Sam Silverstein, unveiled this year's theme, keeping it real, I knew he had it right. Because the difference that you, that we, make in the lives of our audiences is real. The impact is real. And the change that's brought about by the power of your words, that's real too. But just like in any profession, in our profession, there are those few on the fringe that give a lot of us a bad name. Sometimes we call them hucksters, snake oil salesmen. And every now and then, as we saw this morning with Joe Malarkey, we call them motivational speakers. <laughs> I recently met such a motivational speaker, felt compelled to write a song about him. Well, hindsight's 2020. That's never been more clear. I'd gone to watch football and have a couple beers. But this man kept talking to me with a whitened, toothy grin. <laughs> Telling me about nine secrets of success and how to win. He said, your attitude determines altitude. Always go the extra mile. It takes 48 facial muscles to frown. Just 13 to smile. He said, shoot for the moon and you'll land among the stars. He gave me a brand new outlook on life. Life from behind bars. I beat the heck out of a motivational speaker He got a little too close to me Now I'm sitting here in jail And I'm waiting for my bail All because of that Tony Robbins wannabe He said you're a victim Of stinking thinking Well that much is quite plain A little chicken soup for your soul will help to fill your spiritual bowl <laughs> and alleviate your pain if you want to be better I will sign you up for my e-newsletter <laughs> perfect I don't mean to encroach but I'm a certified life coach I beat the heck out of a motivational speaker he got a little too close to me now I'm sitting here in jail and I'm waiting for my bail All because of that Tony Robbins wannabe I pled my case before a judge But he refused to budge He said, boy, your defense is way too thin You can't blame it on the drinking I sentence you to read the power of positive thinking <laughs> And remember, son, you can choose to win I beat the heck out of a motivational speaker and his cousin, the judge. I've never been a real deep thinker. Wait a second. Maybe I too can be a, a motivational speaker. All I have to do is hire Patricia Fripp. Maybe Doug Stevenson to help me write my story. My signature story And I'll be the next new nationwide Speaking sensation From the neighborhood bar To the county jail To the National Speakers Association